Hey guys, I'm LB, and I got a full night's rest. Yes, so, we are going to check out the Parodine Parable by Sky Ferret. The lab boys have been at it again. I get to think about teleportation, but zero-point modulated quantum physics goes way over me. I call it science. Actually, I don't get this teleportation thing, but I think it's cool. <laughs> Alright, yes, so, the whole lack of sleep for 24 hours thing, that actually happens to me about two to three times a year. I'm quite used to it at this point. It's just a part of who I am, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, that was not- <laughs> What?! Excuse me? Uh... Okay then. <laughs> yes, as I was saying... Wait, what? What? Wow, Skyfred. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, that's, uh, hmm, interesting. Well, let's, uh, get that here, can't get that one. Alright, well, yes. Yeah, happens... happens two to three times a year. I'm used to it. It's just a thing I have to live with. And, uh, usually what happens is... I shift my teeth schedules for one, uh, like a couple days in a row, and then I just stay up till... Stay up to record Duskers a second time in the same sleep cycle. And then... I go to bed. <laughs> and that fixes it, usually. So, I have gotten a full night's rest, went to bed... After uploading Duskers and and uh, Fumbly Bumbly's obstruction video, and then uh, slept, and now this morning I replied to a bunch of comments, and I'm recording this. Right? How do we spawn this cube with this button? Right? Yeah. There we go. Come on! Come on! I don't understand what this is about, but we might be here later. If I had to guess, if I had to guess. We'll be here later. Hmm. This isn't exactly turning out as useful as I wanted it to. Why can't they get any right here? Hmm. Maybe I don't need any right there? What is that weird buzzing sound coming from? Odd. Oh, whoops. Well, that's, uh, hmm, interesting. <laughs> oh, yes. Skyferret and I are both fans of impossible geometry. I'm liking this already. Right, so... Uh... Do I need to keep on this button still? Oh, that's interesting. That's where this sound was coming from. Oh, I bet because the world portal just... doesn't block the sound. Okay. Right, that makes sense. Okay, well, we seem to have gotten gel more places now. That's good news. Yeah, I don't know what, what the laser thing's about, but hey, it doesn't matter to me. Right, so. Let's see if we can't make this jump. There we go. And we want the cube in here. It's not too difficult. Doesn't matter that it's coated in gel. Or at least it shouldn't matter. Mm hmm. Yes. Well, I do believe we have closed the arc. But now, we turned off the laser field. Good. Oh, that's okay. That's not what I expected. Do not fall down elevator shaft. I will certainly try not to. What? What the? Okay, that was an odd lag spike. Maybe there's a light bridge? Hmm. And yes, some people did point out that I missed one or two chairs... ...in a, a previous episode. 
I apologize. Being an exterminator, you have to get every chair, and if you don't, well, you fail. Looks like this is another world portal button. Hmm. What? Oh my gosh, what is going on with the lag spikes game? Or well, it might be because I just subscribed to the six Wheatley reprisal maps and it's trying to download them at the moment. <laughs> that probably doesn't help. Yeah, you can still hear that with the fizzler or whatever is still on. Because the world portal is just blocking it. Hey! Impossible geometry, way. We. Way. What? Hmm. Alright, well. Perfect. Hmm. How do we want to do this? Gets us the light bridge across, but we can't actually get up here now. Huh. Yep, the light bridge is across there, alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not exactly helping, per se. Way for me to keep the light bridge or something, but I don't really see how I would do that. So we definitely had to place a portal there and there to fling up here. Oh, oh, yeah, we just- we don't need the light bridge, we just need to fling across. Duh. Silly me! Just keep with us. There we go. Problem solved. A hey, nice, convenient portal surface in case you forgot the reading cube. Look at the floor. Oh, well, that door shut quickly and the lighting changed. Hmm. I have some suspicions about the layout of this area. Why, yes indeed. Suspicions... indeed. Wait, what? Is that not the door to where I think it is? Okay then. What's down this way? Interesting. So we can do that much at least. There's no other portal surface here, so we have to use the funnel to get it in there, unfortunately. Interesting geometry layout. Alright, so now I think we should just be able to respawn the cube and go into the funnel with it, right? That's 
Stone 3 is in a moment. I am almost curious... ...to see where this goes. Did it go here before? I didn't even check, did I? Oh yeah, didn't- didn't even check. Totally did not even check. <laughs> That's the one path I did not check. Well, that makes sense now. Alright, onward we go. Can't take the key with us in any capacity. Alright then. So we got another funnel. Got a ladder that we don't need to use. Cause I'm pretty sure our character cannot climb ladders in this universe. Yeah, not in this not in this multiverse universe. In Betcat's multiverse universe is sure, but not in Skyfair's multiverse universes. I think there was also a ladder in one of the goo pits, or bottomless pits or something, that I didn't even, I didn't even notice because I thought the pit was bottomless, but there was a ladder to climb out of it or something. And, uh, people pointed it out and I was like, oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna want to funnel across to the exit there. But we also need to funnel key onto the button. Oh, that's- that happens first, and then that happens second. Okay, gotcha. So where does this normally lead without the cube on the button? Right through normally. Gotcha. Which means we need to handle with that. So let's see, where does it lead when I do put the cube on the button then? What gets us across here? things this way then. Now we should be able to respawn the cube to put it in the funnel. Let's line that better. Ah, whatever. Whatever. It's close enough. We should be mostly done now, right? Right? I'm guessing this path is just a return path, right? Yep. Just the return path. Well, we brought the cube with us, but I don't think it's gonna make it. Yep, it's gotta be cool. Hmm. Interesting. Am I authorized? I might be. <laughs> Have we finally reached the parodying parable? That is an unusual sight. Game lagged for a moment there. Hmm. Doesn't that look like a portal would spawn there? Something about that is a little alarming, I must say. 
we are here at the Parody and Parable finally, it seems. That's a cool light box. Nice work, Sky Ferret. <laughs> look at that. Excuse me, what? What? <laughs> uh, it... Do what now? Huh? Okay, now you're just messing with me. <laughs> Hey, Shrek. Wait, that's not even Shrek, is it? Also, oh, it's not even lit up, but it's emitting light. <laughs> this is some dirty glass, wow. It's not nearly as dirty on this side as it is on this side. <laughs> Alright, clearly, that's the world portal we need to turn on somehow. What do we have over here, though? Ooh. We have an upper view. Interesting. What is this supposed to be? Some old screen? go. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is fun. Alright, so. Uh, what is the best way to pull this off? Was there a portal surface there? I don't think there was. So I think we have to respawn the cube, right? Yeah, we also gotta figure out how to fizzle this. Which... Hmm. I think we can probably just fizzle it through wherever is through this doorway right here. Here we go. Interesting. When Stanley came to a set of three open doors... Uh... I think all three of these lead to the rate your experience thing, right? That's why they all say 888. Cause it's 8 out of 8, it was great mate. Rate your 8. Make up your mind, door! <laughs> Alright, well this seems like a world portal maze to me. You know, I'm not so sure some of these world portals have really contributed to the puzzles in any way, They're, they've only just, mostly just been brain teases. Messing with your brain and all that. We shall see. I think the arc maps had some good examples of using world portals as part of the puzzle, but then they also had some examples of not using world portals as part of the puzzle, so... World portals are hard to use properly. Especially because they're hard to communicate to the player. So good. I think 
we're making progress anyway. Oh, is that the whole thing? What? What? Why would you do that, though? <laughs> you just messing with me now? I don't understand why you did that. Was there something I was supposed to see in here? Well, anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!